it's extra stomp by the caribou data science channel today this is your channel for all things for data analytics okay but before we get started i do have one favor to ask you today actually you click on that like button for me at the bottom of the screen thanks so much folks now let's get on with the show Welcome back to the camera data science channel this is your this is your first uh, a mongodb update for, for the week happy monday morning now again, we're going to be using MongoDB to do some performance, you know, exploratory data analysis uh, at the Superstore data set with MongoDB. And of course, as always, we're, we're going to, we're going to allow, allow uh, ChatGPT to do all the coding for us, okay? Let's go back over here then. Let's go over here. Let's just connect to our... Uh, uh, you know, instead of using the, uh, the MongoDB shell or the, or the, or the Visual Basic uh, MongoDB shell, we're going to use Studio 3T. Now, now Studio 3T, uh, you, you probably immediately recognize the design because it's very, it's, it's similar to a lot of other database languages, okay, or database uh, IDEs. Go over here, click on this, click Open Primary Shell, okay. And we begin with a few questions. Let's see up here. Uh, I began by saying, um, let's use MongoDB scripts to perform ED on the Superstore data. And I said, what specific uh, aspects? Uh, do you have any specific questions? The answer pretty much is, is no to most of it. I don't really have any pre any idea what I want to analyze. So I'm, I'm going to leave it completely as, as much as we can up to ChatGPT for the evening. And this, this could be the work first of maybe two or three, maybe four different videos. Okay, I want to keep the video short, under 10 minutes, hopefully. Now, what specific Superstore data are you exploring? Do you have any specific questions? Well, the answer is no, I don't. The data is, uh, is, sto is, is, uh, is stored in a collection in, the D in MongoDB. I will, leave, I will leave it up to you to decide which of the data to explore. Excellent. Sales analysis, customer analysis, product, product uh, performance, geographic data. Okay. When I say do you, uh, define specific queries for each area of analysis, execute the queries, and interpret, and interpret the results of meaningful insights. Okay? So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say, let's begin with number one. Time shares analysis, identifying best sellers, uh, data detecting anomalies. So you can see we, we actually have a lot of options in the first, in the first, in the first sort of uh, top level category. We actually have a, we, we, we got, you know, we got at least three, three, you know, three different queries for each, each one of those three categories. Okay, let's go over here. Now, the one thing we do have to do is, now remember, remember that, uh, re remember that MongoDB doesn't have any, uh, doesn't really have, a, doesn't use set uh, schemas. There are no pre, there are, there are no predefined there's no predefined columns there's no predefined data types so if I run this here it'll look for something because it's going to assume it will this collection already exists okay and these and these things here already exist okay so let's just run this see exactly what happens there's nothing there. Because it went out and it ran the aggregate function, right? But there, but there wasn't, but there, but there, but there wasn't any data for this for this collection here. But it, it thinks it actually exists. Let's just try some here. Okay, so let's go up here, change this to store. Now the one thing I did do is. Uh, Oh, I've got the metric. Go up and look. You should, you should see an R script that shows you how to actually import, uh, create a collection using R, using the R programming language in a Mongo Lite package. Okay. So this, the actual the actual collection is called Store. And this over here, because I used the janitor package in uh, Sales state. I, I, I used the uh, the package uh, janitor and R to 
to, to clean up the columning. So it reduced everything to lowercase and put a replaced, uh, and it replaced a uh, underscore between the lines. Let's see what this does here then. So it gave us this here. Okay, so this is, this just gave us a count, right? Okay. Is that what this does? Okay. Do I need to change the date name? See, it says total sales, but there shouldn't be any total sales here. All oh, came back down here. Okay. So this is sales. That's total sales. That's count. Okay. But it still is only returning one row. And it's not returning the date ID. Let's do this. Let's just come back over here and do a uh, B dot store dot order date, ship date. over here. And sales. And this should be called store, right? Okay, let me see some.
No, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> okay. That's kind of odd, isn't it? So, you know, if, if, it, if, it, if it analyzed the spreadsheet, Okay, then why did it get the column name wrong? <laughs> Oops, sorry, you're right. Let's see if it actually... There you go. Much better. data has already Oh, this does appear to be the same report, by the way. So this, this, this says it should return something by month and year. Okay. The dates are correct. Okay, this the, is correct.
error message indicates that the order date field in your MongoDB collection is not being recognized. Well, that's because it doesn't have a date type. By the, by the, by the date to string operator. This is a common issue with date field store or store to string. There are two convert order date to a date type. If order date is stored as a string or another type, we need to convert it to Mongo date. I, I didn't. Now wait. I thought MongoDB didn't have any types. That's interesting. Okay. Now with the aggregate pipeline, uh, check the date format. Ensure that the order date field in your in your in your, uh, in your uh, document is consistently formatted. Well, it should be. That's right. That certainly is right. <gasps> so let's see what happens. Up up here from order date. Format order date. Date from string. Date string. Well let's see what happens here. Thanks so much for taking time out to view this video today. Uh, as always, questions, comments, suggestions for future content are as always welcome in the, in, in, the, in the comment section below. And of course, very important, thanks for clicking that like button for me today. That's how we build up your station and my station, okay?